Hey, good Thursday morning to you. Once again, time for another Kirkland Lake Gold Miners chat. This morning, we have another one of the Gold Miners forwards in studio. Number 20 in your program, Patrick Murphy with us. Morning, Pat. How are you, man? Good morning, Fur. How are you? I am good. Thanks for taking time to join us on uh, the day of the playoffs. Yeah. Cochran Crunch tonight. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So, you were part of our uh, U.S. connection. Oh, yeah. From Gilbert, Arizona? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. As far as I know, you are the third Arizona resident to play for the Gold Miners. Ashton Amaya, former captain of the Gold Miners, also from Gilbert. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you guys know each other. Yeah, um, I think he's a 97 birth year. Um, yeah, so we didn't really so. ever play uh, together. Okay. But I do know of Ashton. Now, did um, he cool. have anything to do with you arriving in Kirkland Lake? No, I was scouted in Minnesota and Kale when, when they were there scouting and they reached out. So Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the, the hockey scene in Arizona. For example, if you had to guess off top of your head, how many rinks are there? I would say eight, I want to say maybe up to 10 that have rinks in them, obviously yeah certain ones have multiple ones in them mm-hmm. but i would say with a limited number of ice surfaces in the state um everybody's on the ice together so have, have you been on the ice with any of the pros or main or maybe some of the d1 guys from asu in the summer we have uh we have a skate with like probably i'd say 15 to 15 to 20 junior guys okay. pro guys college guys all from arizona and um matthews will come out and it's pretty cool <laughs> seeing him and just his skill and, and how he handles himself is really cool. And it's got to be off the charts being on the ice oh, with it, him at the same time. Right? It's, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's, it's a really cool experience. But um, just all the guys that um, are playing college right now, playing in the pro leagues, you can kind of see what they do in the summer and, yeah. and get better. Who are you building with? I'm uh, building with the Demers family um, <laughs> for the past two years. It's, it's been awesome and really appreciate everything they've done for me. And they've been really welcoming always. And we got Caleb Thompson there yep. this year, so it's it's the both of us, and it's awesome. It's a, it's a great experience for now, us. Now, you, you probably heard this already, but I'll, I'll say it again. When the Demers family found out you were coming back, it was like Christmas Day, it was Easter, <laughs> it was your birthday, yeah. it was Thanksgiving, it was everything all <laughs> roll. I've never seen oh, people yeah. so happy in my life to hear the player was coming back to town. Oh, yeah, they were, they were really excited, and... I was really happy to give him the news that um, I was coming back, and it's been great so far. I've just been really excited to be back, and you know, you you really do miss miss the guys and mm-hmm. um, playing with a few of the guys from uh, last year. And, yeah, um, it's awesome to be back with them. Tell us a bit about the family back home, Pat. Yeah, so um, my mom and and my dad raised uh, raised raised me and my two my two sisters. I'm a, I'm a middle child, which okay. was uh, which was which was interesting growing up, but Becca and Megan. What did they do? So my sister's uh, graduating high school this year, Megan, and then uh, my older sister, she went to college, and then uh, and then now she has two boys. Uh, so I got two nephews who, uh, you know, I've been teaching teaching skating, and um, it's been awesome having them. And, uh, I mean, they're just balls of energy, so it, it's been <laughs> awesome. Right on. Now, I can hear people thinking, because I've had the same thought myself, Sitting here talking to a kid from Arizona yeah. who's a hockey player. How did you get into hockey? Shouldn't you be playing golf? Shouldn't you be playing <laughs> baseball, basketball, yeah. football? I was born in Philadelphia okay. um, in Bryn Mawr. And we moved to Boston when I was about two and a half. My uncle Mike, he, he coached in college. So my uncle Mike actually gave me the love of the game, put a stick in my hands, um, bought a net for me. And from there... Uh, we moved to Arizona when I was about four-ish. All right. And then uh, it just continued the passion and love for the game, and um, I just continued to skate. What was your favorite sport other than hockey growing up to play? I never really, really dabbled too much outside of uh, outside of hockey because that was my, my main love. But So did, did you go at it? It Was it 12 months a year? 12, yeah, it was about like I would take – so we would go, we would do our hockey season. Okay. Um, and then I'd take about a couple of weeks off and then um, just keep training and, and playing hockey. But um, I would, I would, I wouldn't play like organized sports outside of hockey, but mm-hmm. I would dabble in some baseball and, and lacrosse and football and, and all that good stuff. And okay. uh, it was always fun to throw the, the baseball around with dad uh, since he was, he was such a good athlete yeah. in, in baseball. Favorite athlete? Favorite athlete. Ooh, that's a great question. Um, right now it's Joel Embiid. Um, <laughs> since I am, a, I am a Sixers fan right now. And you said you were born in Philly too, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, big Sixers fan, but, uh, 
Yeah, I think I think Joel Embiid right now. I just love how much of a character he is and and how dominant he is. All in right. Sport. So so as a big Sixers fan, were you crying with him when uh, when Kawhi's oh, shot went down? Man, oh man. Um, <laughs> I I remember it was like a yes. It was like yesterday. Uh, me and my dad were were watching the game on the couch and. Yeah. Um, I, I saw the, the shot go up from Kawhi and, and when it hit the rim, we were like, yeah, like he missed overtime and then it fell in and, and me and my dad just grabbed our heads. I mean, <laughs> we were just like, wow, are you kidding me? Like, that's awful. But, uh, I mean, we just, we both just walked to our rooms and, and didn't really say too much. It was pretty heartbreaking. <laughs> Let's, uh, ho- ho- hopefully we have a deep playoff run this year. All right. So when you're back home. U of A or ASU? Oh, ASU. Since they're just since they're closer to me, um, AS, uh, U of A is actually about a two-hour drive, so okay. I don't really go out to many um, like Wildcat games or yeah. much like that. But ASU for sure, since they're only a thirty-minute drive from the house. All right, so playoffs start tonight up yeah. in Cochran against the Crunch, then back home tomorrow night seven thirty. Pack the rink night. Thanks to uh, Food Lion for their promotion, helping out the food bank. Anyone that makes a donation, uh, uh, either a monetary or a, uh, a food donation at Food Land today or tomorrow, will get a ticket for tomorrow night's game. So uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Oh, yeah. As really we excited. ramp up the intensity for the playoffs. Absolutely. Really excited. And, um, you know, hopefully we can we can get past Cochran here and, um, and face Pawas in, in, that, in that round one. That's what it's all about. Thanks for doing this, Murph. It was yeah. a whole lot of fun, man. Fergie, I really appreciate it. Thank ha- you. Have some fun tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Thanks.